everyone. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize your smart map settings on your iRobot Roomba J series vacuums. So if your model number has a J in it, like the J5, the J6, or the J7, doesn't matter if it's a plus or a not, this video will help you walk through your map settings. If you're interested in any of the J series vacuum cleaners, the links to them will be in the video description. Let's jump right in. So this is a look at the mobile app with your J vacuum set up. We're gonna be spending our time in the map icon there and you'll see our map right here. I do wanna point out this does support multiple maps. If you have different levels of your house, you can go ahead and you'll be able to map those and choose which map you want. You don't need to bring your charging station with it either, which is nice. And you'll see all your maps right here. Those three dots will take us to settings to delete or go on a mapping run. And then you'll see our main floor map already populated. Those three dots again have the delete map, rename map, save orientation, reset obstacle sensitivity. So you have a couple of features to adjust in there. And plus and minus to zoom in, we can change orientation by rotating the map and then we can center it back up. You'll see our maps already populated. It also shows the different floor types. We got our carpet identified right there. I already added a particular zone. I'll show you how to do all of that here. At the bottom is where all these settings come into play. So we have our room dividers. I'm really happy with how our map turned out. If we wanted to edit these for whatever reason, just rotate or drag and drop. You can move them around the map delete, cancel, you get the idea. We could add a new divider, same thing, right? Just rotate, move around. So that's dividers, very simple. Hopefully you don't have to do much, if anything there, but up to you how you want to redivide the map as you see fit. Then we have our room labels. So say you want to label this room, everything grayed out's already in use, but we have a lot of options here. So pick and choose the option that you want. There's also a custom setting. If you want to enter your own name, then you can just hit done. Going back, again, we could also, you know, pick and choose any of them. So if you don't have a label, it'll notify you in the app, and then you can go ahead, you can click it, and label the room. So very easy to do that there. And then you'll see we have our zone option. Here's our keep out zones in red. And then we have our clean zones. That's gonna be in blue. So we already have a clean zone right here. It's as simple as drag and drop. I love that they give you the measurements too, so you can get a realistic feel on your phone to know how far out you wanna go in your room. Say you have like a cat litter box, you have a lot of cords, tangles, shoes, maybe a Christmas tree, skirt, decorations, things like that that you don't want to get tangled or sucked up in the vacuum, you can set these up. So here's the keep out zones, same thing, it's just red. You know, drag, drop, reposition as you see fit. Say we wanted it there, and then just grab that corner, we can extend it down, hit save, and now you've added it. And then same thing for our clean zones, just drag and drop, resize, and you're done. You can add multiple clean zones and you can add multiple no-go zones all throughout your map. So very easy to customize all of that there. And then lastly, you'll see our map legend down at the bottom that shows us the carpet on our floors and our bedrooms. So very simple map, easy to use and customize. Really quick, I also wanted to show you under the favorite section, now since we've set up our map how we wanted it, we can obviously vacuum everywhere, but we can add new favorites because this supports being able to clean by rooms or by zones, which is exciting. So there we go, we have our zone right there. We could just have it clean that particular grouping at the front door. So you can do room by room clean, you can do zone by zone clean, or you can do whole house cleaning with your J series Roombas.